Hey, it's Blush and I'm back with Glam Chat. Today we'll be talking about Beyonce, Lil Wayne, and Rihanna. We'll also go into some news things as well as some fashion tips. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back at Beyonce this episode. Beyonce has just released um, a snippet of her new single. Um, it's called Bow Down. Um, and this is actually stirring up some controversy. Apparently, some of the lyrics seem to be condescending to women um, as opposed to some of her other music, which actually has a lot of empowerment. Um, and it's, again, just stirring up some big fuss between a lot of talk show hosts and just people in general. Some of her fans have um, some things that they are saying about it that they're just not too fond about or they're not happy about. Um, personally, for me, being a Beyonce fan, when I first heard it, I kind of got a little scared or it sounded a little scary to me, but for the most part, most of her songs, they usually have to grow on me and then eventually I grow to love them. Um, so maybe this might be one of her songs that will do the same for me. But again, it is stirring up a lot of um, a lot of controversy in in the media. Um, for those of you who haven't gotten a chance to hear it, um, you can actually go into YouTube. There, you will be able to find the song on there. Again, it's called "Bow Down," and there's like a bunch of different videos on there um, that has the actual audio. Um, one part of the song that actually that I actually wanted to go over as far as lyrics wise, um, she's saying on there. Quote unquote, I know when you were little girls, you dreamt of being in my world. Don't forget it, don't forget it. Bow down, bitches. I know when you were little girls, you dreamt of being in my world. Don't forget it, don't forget it. Respect that. Bow down, bitches. Now, this is totally different compared to what Beyonce sings about. Because again, she's usually the type that's like, you know, empowerment to women, empowerment to girls. Um, you know, girls get your stuff together, upgrade and stuff like that. So for her saying bow down bitches, I'm not sure if it's more of a, okay, bow down to my haters or just in general. Um, but again, this is something I guess that just has to grow on me. So we'll see in a couple more months how I feel about the song. But for now, it's a, it's a bit scary for me because of what she's actually saying. And I guess all the rumors between her being a... Lil Wayne, he's back again this episode. Um, Lil Wayne was recently admitted to the hospital for seizures. Um, apparently he had an overdose um, off of the drug, which most are calling the hip hop's most dangerous drug, Scissor. Some of you may know it as Purple Drink or That Lean. Um, this drink or this booze, I should say, can be an addicted drug. Um, and it actually has the ingredients such as codeine, um, promethazine, as well as soda. It's a mix, um, and it gives you a really good high. And it's it's very prevalent in the hip hop world. You hear it in Future song. You hear it in um, Two Chain song. Um, my understanding, this was something that also Pimp C um, was affiliated with, and hit, happened to do with his, his death as well. So. It is a very, again, high, highly addictive drug. Not sure why people are putting their life at risk, but I guess it's just like any other drug, cocaine, that people do. Um, but again, apparently, Lil Wayne was admitted into the hospital recently for seizures related to that drug. Rihanna, um, for you Rihanna fans, just keep yourself updated. She is actually going through her um, diamond tour. Um, so you can actually go on the website, look it up, and find out when she will be coming into your town or a town near you. I know for you South Floridians, because I'm in South Florida, she will be hitting Bank Atlantic Center April 20th. Um, so you can check her out if you are a big Rihanna fan. And just go ahead and enjoy her show, because I heard she her show is pretty good. She puts on a pretty good show. I got some news of some disturbing tragedy that happened in Brunswick, um, Georgia in the last week. Um, there was a 
13 month old baby who was shot by, well, there was two young fellas who approached a woman walking her, her son in a stroller um, in her neighborhood who wanted to rob her. Came up to her, um, asked for some money. She said she didn't have any money. Um, then at that point, they asked her, well, the oldest one asked her, do, do you want me to kill your baby? She's over here pleading with him. No, I don't want you to kill my baby. He then proceeded to actually um, pull out a gun, shot at the ground twice, um, shot her, and it hit her leg as well as she had another bullet that actually grazed her ear. And then, unfortunately, he took it upon himself to take the life of that 13-month-old baby. He shot the baby in the face. So unfortunately, the baby did not um, survive. So again, we hear about the news every day and tragic things that happen. But it's like when you hear things like that, it kind of like really touch home because it's a baby. Baby had nothing to do with anything. It's like, why would you take it upon yourself to take the life of a child simply because the mother didn't have money? I don't know what would possess these two young fellas to try to rob this lady and then when she says that she doesn't have the money to actually take it upon themselves to take the life of this child. Um, but, you know, my prayers definitely goes out to both families because they're going to be, you know, his, their family's going to be losing two sons because they were brothers. And then, you know, this woman actually lost, you know, her young baby. You can never really heal from something like that. So definitely my prayers go out to both families um, in that tragedy. For those of you who may not have been aware, um, we, there have been a new Pope elected in the last couple of weeks. Um, Pope Benedict the 16th, he shockingly resigned um, from his position, he stated that it was due to health problems. Um, some other people feel that that may not be the case, but for the most part, there has been a new elected Pope. His name is Pope Francis. He's actually from Argentina and he's, if I'm not mistaken, 76 years old. Um, new York Times describes him as being theologically conservative. Um, from what I've read, he is not, he is definitely not for um, gay marriage um, or gay parent raising. Um, or gay parent rearing. Um, but either way, he's, you know, like I said, New York Times actually considered him theologically conservative. So we'll see how this, um, how this goes. And um, that's just, you know, an update on that for those of you who were not aware of the new elected Pope. Let's talk about fashion. We're in spring, so that means pretty pastel colors and just bright colors all together. So when you're actually getting dressed, uh, when it comes to your clothing, as well as your accessory, think mint green and peach. They're in, they're in, they're in. Um, so as you can see, I tried to kind of incorporate that in my episode today. Got some green in here. So I've been hearing a lot about Milani's Spring Edition um, for their lipstick collection. And I decided that I wanted to try the orange. Again, um, bright colors are in for the spring, um, springtime. This is the lipstick. Um, it is called Sweet Nectar. You can find it at um, your local stores such as um, Walmart, Target. Um, I'm sure your local beauty supply store may have it. And you can also actually go online and order it straight from Milani. Or if you can just Google Milani, you'll be able to find um, their lipsticks there as well. So again, it comes in a gold package. Um, you'll see the color on the bottom and it has the actual color on there. So you'll know which one you're picking out. Um, it, again, it, it is a bright orange color. It comes on matte, so it comes on pretty dry. I don't really um, like matte lipsticks so much. So I actually topped it off with uh, a lip gloss, which is Mika K New York and it is in an orange. You can actually put this on by itself and it comes on pretty um, pretty dark as an orange um, lip gloss. So you can use this by itself and then you will actually see the pigment of the orange. But I actually wanted to top it off on lipstick. And this is the end result of it. I like it and I think I will um, be wearing it for the remainder of the season. 
and transparent is also in so you can actually slip that into your um, wardrobe for the summer so if you have like a clear clutch a clear purse or some shoes that actually have some see-through effects going to it that's actually a plus for spring get it in you'll be looking fabulous all right three top things I actually wanted to leave you all with um, for your fashion thinking uh, for the spring First things first, um, if a piece works for three seasons, get it. If you go into a store and you can actually wear this in fall, you can wear it in the spring, you can wear it in the winter, get it because you know, you want your outfits to have longevity. Um, know what trends last, that kind of ties into the first thing. You don't want to be buying something that's only going to be working out for just that time frame. You want it to be with you for a long time. Um, and then also know your closet like a pro. Um, before you actually go shopping, look in your closet, see what you have, see what you're missing, um, see what you can add to it. And therefore you can actually recycle things and be able to wear them more than once, but at the same time, wear it differently. All right, so that will be it for Glam Chat. Please, if you would like to see some more, you would like to get some more gossip, um, some more trend information or some more news, feel free to subscribe. See ya. Girls, you